Hello and welcome. I originally had planned a video essay on K-pop live vocals but this one new performance came out and I knew I had to make this video instead, this, and also because on the day this video is uploaded there will be a project happening by the Japanese fandom to get the song to chart for the first time internationally. In this video I'll be talking about and reviewing the song Hala Hala for the performance-centered piece it is. This is not a song review but an overall performance review and analysis. And this is also an excuse for me to talk about the song and performance that really solidified my place as a fan of ATs. For those of you who may not know what Hala Hala is and clicked on this video out of boredom or you just randomly stumbled upon it. Hala Hala is a B-side or second title track from ATs second mini album Treasure, 0 to 1. The song does not have an official music video but it does have a performance video. ATs promoted the song as a double title track on music shows so many believe that it's a title track when in reality it's just a follow-up track. It has gathered a lot of attention in the past three years, both good and bad, to the point there are still fan wars about it every other day of the week. A lot of K-pop stands find the performance inconvenient for their standards and they don't understand it. They say it's scary and it's not normal and ATs look possessed and overdo it. So I'm here to explain to the best of my abilities why that's exactly the point. I've been fighting with my life for this song for the past two years so I believe I am well versed in its meaning and purpose. But before we begin, some disclaimers about my comments on Team B's performance. 1. I am not hating on Team B and any of the members. Critiquing something does not equal to hating it. As I said the focus of this video is what makes Hala Hala work and what doesn't. I do not encourage anyone to send any hate to the trainees and I won't tolerate any hate comments either. This being said I am not going to be giving a for effort to anyone. If I see something I like I will say it and if I see something I don't I will also say it. 2. Yes, I am aware Team B are trainees and they are still lacking and they know that themselves too. I am not here to judge them on their abilities but my feedback here is to show how the performance could have gone better if they changed up a few things here and there. There are people saying we shouldn't be comparing them to already debuted idols but I believe this goes against the sole purpose of covering songs from other artists. It's impossible not to compare. Covers are made in the image of the original, whether it's a complete recreation or a close imitation. No one is an exception to the natural comparison that comes with covering a song. And you can argue that ATs themselves have done covers of their seniors for the very same purpose. What's also worth noting is that ATs were only four months old as a group when they started performing Hala Hala, so I wouldn't say they were that much experienced in the K-pop industry with years and years of being in front of the camera either. From what I know the winning team of the survival show will be debuting after the show ends so that means they are supposed to debut in a few months from now. 3. Lastly, I have no clue who these idols are, from what company they're from or their personalities at all so I don't have any reason to paint them in either a positive or negative light. The only thing I know is that this is a new survival show and there are two teams, Team A and Team B. Team A performed Mic Drop by BTS and Team B performed Hala Hala by ATs. The only other thing I know is that Team B won so congratulations are in order and also big props to all the idols for performing such high difficulty songs. For I do appreciate them for doing their best and as a fan, I am proud that they performed an ATs song. However that does not mean they are free from criticism. And the truth is any person with working ears and eyes may have seen the several issues while watching the performance. The singing. Hala Hala is a very difficult song to sing live. It requires immense stamina and stability. There is a reason why most people avoid covering this song and only stick to dance covers. Team B is probably the first cover I've seen that has included singing. And that could have been amazing. If they did actually sing that is. And look I know ATs are known now for their live vocals but even, they, back then didn't sing the entire song live because of how exhausting the choreography was. So I was not expecting Team B to sing it live too. I would be very pleasantly surprised if they did sing live but I am a realist and I know it would be insane to expect them to do so. I did not have a problem with them having pre-recorded vocals. My problem was the auto-tune slash weird vocal effects that the production team added. The mixing was terrible and I cannot believe someone in the production of that show greenlighted this. So 
You cannot even hear their actual voices with them being drowned in all those layers and auto-tune. And I can't imagine the idols being happy with this production decision either. As I was writing this I watched a little from the mic drop performance and it seems Team A was also subjected to this horrible auto-tune and mixing. But back to Hala Hala, I believe the auto-tuning and overall mixing was a bad bad decision because it really takes you out of the performance. Part of what makes Hala Hala so engaging is the rawness of it all. ATs put their 200% in every performance and it shows. In the way their voice will waver and even break sometimes from the exhaustion. But you still hear them sing over the backtrack and that makes the performance more authentic. Their voices are clear and loud. Calm parts of the song you can still hear them add their own twists and emotions to the song which makes the audience engage and it communicates the message of the song in the way only live singing can do. The raw vocals are an essential part of what makes Hala Hala work. The dancing, now, the dancing alone was not actually bad at all. If I mute the clips you may even say they did a pretty good job. But the thing that is lacking here is energy. Hala Hala requires a lot of energy. Not random bursts of energy either, it needs to be balanced and have the right timing. These are the key words with Hala Hala, balance and timing. I will be mentioning them a lot from now on. Although I do want to give credit to whoever made the decision to put this person at the center. I don't know his name but he is probably the most charismatic one of all of them in this performance at least, so it's fitting that he has Hung Jung's part whose charisma is what ties the performance together. In Hala Hala, Hung Jung has the center part in the chorus which is what most people will remember so it's very crucial for whoever is at the center in this part to catch the attention of the audience. It is a very hard thing to do so I believe he did his best. But overall for the team, I believe the energy could be something to improve. I know the guys must have been very nervous and pressured and they did their best to hide it also I'm not blaming them for not being able to perform to AT's standard. I was not expecting them to do so either. The facial expressions, oh boy here we go. It is very obvious that Team B studied AT's facial expressions, as they should of course. That's not a bad thing. It's a very good thing actually. And let's be honest here they are not the only ones studying AT's facial expressions as we have seen a lot more idols have started imitating their crazy facial expressions recently. But the common mistake between most of these idols and Team B is that they don't actually delve deeper into what makes AT's crazy facial expressions work and have settled for just smirking, winking and raising their eyebrows at random times in hopes of achieving the stage presence that AT's are known for. Yes AT's are known for their intense facial expressions. They are also known for their stage presence. However having intense facial expressions does not equal to having stage presence and that's where the issue lies. It's a common mistake to associate one with the other. There's a time and place for the crazy facial expressions and Hala Hala is definitely the perfect place. You cannot perform Hala Hala with a blank face, it's just going to look horrible. I do commend Team B's effort to try and imitate AT's facial expressions but in the end I was disappointed that they did not commit to them and most of them settled for the standard too scared to look anything but pretty in front of the camera's approach to their facial expressions. To me it made them look insecure. While performing Hala Hala you cannot doubt yourself even for 0.5 seconds or else you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. Again balance is the key. Every member needs to be on the same page and same wavelength. That's part of why ATs work so well together. The reason why they are not called ex-member and friends is because they are all on the same page and have balance. They know when to pull back and they know when to give their all. They know how to show their individual styles without going out of sync. Being in sync is not ATs priority in performances but they still move as a team while keeping their individualism and showing their own personal styles of dancing. Surprise, more than getting bucks. Oh, no, oh, no. Surprise, the oh, no, oh, no. What makes Hala Hala work, it's all the elements combined in harmony and chaos. The song is dark there's no other way to describe it. It may fool you at first because it starts pretty tame but the song and what follows, is anything but that. The song is about ATs feeling a dormant side of them awakening. That side of them is powerful, full of energy and passion, angry and even frightening. They say they will do anything to reach their goal, they will do whatever it takes and there is nothing that can stop them. They even introduce themselves as the Suicide Squad in reality. 
For those that don't know what a suicide squad is, it's a group of people tasked to a highly difficult operation. The movies with the same name are about a group of villains that go on missions that no one else will go on because of the danger and high risk of death. So yeah the song is not about sunshine and rainbows. And they don't present it as such. They literally have a dance move snapping their necks at the end. AT's performances have always been on the theatrical side but Hala Hala I believe is one of the most difficult songs to perform due to the acting and immersion skills it requires. If I had to describe the point of Hala Hala I would say it's controlled chaos and breaking away from restraints. Restraints that they put themselves or others have put on them. Controlled chaos is a contradiction. Chaos is disorder, so how can one control disorder? ATs perform Hala Hala like they are possessed as many call them, they make themselves look out of control but in reality they are the ones in control. The re doing this on purpose. They perform chaos by following unseen rules and organization. Nothing is random. They are purposefully making it look chaotic and then they pull it back. They are controlling the chaos. Which is an extremely difficult thing to pull off. Hala Hala is not supposed to be performed with smirks and winks, it's supposed to be nightmare fuel and leave you breathless. It's supposed to be a workout for your eyes. It's supposed to make you feel the exhaustion they are feeling. It's even more breathtaking considering the fact that they do all this while singing live as well. The possessed style they perform in, many find it scary but they don't realize that by saying that, they are proving the song's point. Not only that, ATs have a good reason to do this. The reason is to catch people's attention. The K-pop industry is very saturated and it's difficult to stand out and make a name for yourself. It's difficult to create a brand and have people associate you with something specific and have this be marketed as your identity. So when ATs covered themselves in all black from head to toe, wearing hats and masks, you'd think they are crazy for not wanting to stand out. There's a reason why K-pop idols dye their hair crazy colors and have weird hairstyles and that is for them to stand out and catch people's attention. But with Hala Hala, ATs took that away. The only way you can recognize them in these outfits are by their eyes. And the eyes are the most expressive facial feature in my opinion. A four-month-old K-pop group covering themselves like this and making it impossible for them to be recognized individually, could have been career suicide if they had failed to catch people's attention. So when you strip away the visuals of K-pop, what's left to show? Their talents. By choosing to focus on their performance alone they found a way to catch people's attention. And I would say it worked. Because people are still talking about this performance even three years later so you can say it did have the impact that it intended to have. You call their performances scary? So you're saying you've been paying attention? <laughs> <laughs>